Now that's the more realistic way to earn $3,000 on autopilot for free. Good morning, my internet friends and uh, beautiful people of the world. Before we actually begin, though, I want to remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where people have been going from zero to $100 a day to $1,000 a day. And this is even during uh, the pandemic as well as lockdown. Check it out in the link below. Uh, but that being said, I want to review a video that I was watching the other day just to give you guys my thoughts on exactly if this is something that people that I've met around the world while traveling and making money online, if this is something that they actually do so you guys can actually get an entire picture to see if people are actually doing this for the long-term game of things, not just making money this week or this day or this week, but I already said that, but something that can continually and can reliably pay them income so that, you know, they don't have to worry about their bills. They could travel. They don't have to worry about, you know, the stability of things because there's a lot of ways to make money online. I know this because I've tried a lot of them that are just like up, down, up, down. And it just, it just kills your soul. And let's just see if this is one of those. I haven't seen this yet, but let's just give me my two cents. So that you can actually go from zero to over $3,000 for less than two hours of work and it's absolutely free. You can set this up once and collect automatic payments again and again from anywhere in the world. So if you love passive income, then make sure to watch every second of this video and I will teach you exactly how to set this up. This has nothing to do with affiliate marketing, no camera needed, no social media followers needed, and it's a website that we never talked about earlier on this channel. Okay, so just with that being said, uh, <laughs> I've done a lot of like webinars and, and sales presentations and selling on stage in the past. And already, I haven't seen this entire video yet, right? And I'll, I'll be like the devil's advocate of this. Um, but when it comes to what just happened right now, you, you see that this is uh, a big thing in a lot of sales presentations. Here's this big promise. Oh, you can make $3,000. Um, in, in less than a day or like three hours or something ridiculous like that. And uh, right after they just said, oh, uh, there's also all these objection handlings, right? So if you notice, like he said, this is not affiliate marketing with whatever accent that is. Uh, there's a lot of people that have these objections once they see like a big promise. So in any sales presentation, you want to always like hit on those objections so that you could just throw those away and not actually have those on the table so that people are going to have more of like an attention span to listen in on this instead of just wanting to leave. So for most people that end up watching these videos are gonna be like, Oh my God, I can make $3,000 without having to do anything. And already it just sucks those types of people in, right? So let's just, just actually see what type of audience this type of video is attracting. And we could kind of see what's the real way to make money online. Is it to uh, do actually these things or to actually go do what this guy with a cool accent is doing and just kind of like sharing it, if that makes sense. This is already Zazzle.com, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E.com. This is a print-on-demand website like Teespring, like Redbubble, and all of those websites. It's a place where people come to buy different products that have been designed by everyday people like me and you. So everyday people can come over to here to upload their own designs. And no, don't worry, you don't need any design skills to actually do this because we will not be using any of those complicated softwares like Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator but rather than that I will show you where to get those designs done for absolutely free and with minimum effort so this can all take you less than 20 minutes to make it profitable. And if I pull up my tool called similar web and I paste the Zazzle link into it you will be able to see that over 16 million people use this website on a monthly basis so that's a really really that's like really a lot of traffic to your store and a lot of potential buyers. Obviously not all 16 million people will buy your product, but even if 0.01% from them buys, you will still make a decent amount of money. So that's actually uh, one of the things that I uh, was was worried about. I was like, okay, this is like a new website. I've never heard about it before, but you know, how, how are people going to actually going to go buy the, these products, right? So right then and there, that kind of like goes over like my objection. Oh, there's 16 million people that come on this website. Odds are someone might actually buy my design, 
right? And to go more into detail with what they're actually talking about, this is known as print on demand. And this is something that I used to do back in like 2016 or 2017. My niche was like Jesus t-shirts as well as like elephant pillowcases, right? Um, and from that, I actually made pretty decent money, okay? And actually traveling around the world, there's also a lot of people that I know that do print on demand. The only difference though is a lot of them actually don't do it really on these platforms. If they do, they kind of move things off so that they start building their own brand and their own business. You could open up your own e-commerce stop or store and start using Facebook ads to sell it. The only problem with this way is it's not going to be long lasting, right? Like when they say earn $3,000 on autopilot for free, number one, nothing's ever for free. You're either going to invest your time or your money right? You're going to invest your time and your money. And the thing about this, this entire way, which I just want to like say it right now is you're going to have to invest a lot of time. And this time is very, very excruciating. Why, why, why am I saying this? Because this is a free way to make money online, right? And the thing about free ways to make money online, the barrier of entry is so low. It's so low. And especially because more and more people are learning ways to make money online instead of going after the things that they think they hard, they go after the easiest thing. Oh, I could start my online business with just going on Zazzle.com and not having to do anything and, and all of these free ways. And when you have that mentality of all of these people coming in and trying to make money, what happens is it turns into a red ocean where it is really, really, really hard to make money because everyone is doing it. Competition just comes in and then your profit margins go down. And not only that, but the, the, the end of the day, the big winner here is Zazzle because they're the ones that kind of like own the entire marketplace, right? The exact same thing happened to me in eBay dropshipping, okay? So eBay dropshipping, you could still do well in it. You could still make money with it. You just have to be very creative with where you're gonna get like your cash back and your percentages and, and you always have to adapt to the marketplace. Like for example, when I started on eBay dropshipping, it was like free to get started kind of like this. And I was able to make like $3,000 in a single month with it. But the problem with that was because there wasn't a barrier of entry and it was very easy for everybody to get in. What I found every single month and every single uh, like ha uh, half a year to every single year, my profit margins went down to the point where it was getting harder and harder to maintain like a thousand to $3,000 a month online business, right? It got to the point where it got was, it was just like excruciatingly difficult where then I had to decide, is this something that I actually want to do for the rest of my life or should I actually pivot right now? What I'm kind of sharing with you right now is number one, this won't be autopilot. You're, you're really going to have to always adapt because there's going to be so many competition and the more competition there is in a marketplace, the faster you have to adapt. If you think it's going to be on autopilot and you could earn $3,000 without doing anything, you are ridiculous. And this isn't going to actually be the thing that's going to make you successful. Can you make this work? Yeah. But like in my mind, especially with uh, seeing the people that are attracted by this video, right? People that want to make money by doing nothing. Those people won't have the realistic expectation to actually succeed in this. And thus, most people will probably only make 50 to 100 bucks max. OK, because if you think about it, right, the promise in the beginning was, oh, you can make a lot of money by doing very little. And I'm going to tell you this. What you think is easy is actually very, very, very difficult. And what you think is very difficult is actually the easiest thing to actually do because there's no competition. Same with how when you go to the bar, you talk to you, like everyone's afraid to talk to the prettiest girl in the bar. Right. Everyone is afraid. That's why when you go up and say hi you'd be surprised that they actually are a lot nicer than you think because no one is talking to them because everyone is afraid to talk to them. It's the exact same thing with business. The thing that you think is the hardest thing, there's actually not that much competition because all these people that are coming in think it's too difficult to get started. That's why what is easy now will get harder later on. What is hard now will get easier later on. And just like that, you know, the promise here is earn $3,000 on autopilot for free without having to do anything like in your spare time, right? But with this exact business model, I know for a fact the people that succeed put in like eight, 10, like 16 hours a day. When I was building and selling these Jesus t-shirts and elephant uh, pillowcases, I was spending a lot of time into it. Was it free to get started? Yes, but the thing about that is as months go on and more people know about things, it just gets harder and harder and harder.
And considering the fact that it's going to take you less than like less than like two minutes to create a design for absolutely free. And I like how he says it in his accent. Less than two minutes. Is, is that Russian or like spent less than two minutes? Uh, but yeah, it's not going it, to it's going to take less than two minutes to create. But but odds are you're, you're not going to be able to sell it. Um, when it comes to this, you're going to have to do a lot of customer analysis and research and competitor analysis. You need to see what's actually viral right now. Uh, when I was doing this, I was always looking at like viral images on Pinterest or looking at things that were going trending, right? Certain memes that were ki kind of catching wildfire. Kind of like when that Salt Bay guy blew up, a lot of people made money with like Salt Bay, like t-shirt meme things, right? You got to see what's actually trending. If you just like snap something up on like a free website and put it on there, yeah, you could do it in two minutes, but you're not possibly going to make money because competition doesn't work like that. It's the same way how like Target works, Target only allows best sellers to sell in their store, right? They only allow best sellers to sell in their store. People are coming in here thinking, oh, I don't have to do any work because this video says anything. You're going to have to do some work. You're going to see, you're going to have to see what type of trends or what type of niches or what type of designs are actually already selling. And then you have to go ahead and model it. But within two minutes, it's, it's, it's really like unlikely. And the reason Zazzle is a lot better and easier to use than Teespring and Redbubble is because this website actually gives you all of those design templates and all of those elements which you can play with and create simple designs. So as I said, it's going to be pretty fun and entertaining to create those designs. Now you can So here's the thing, they're giving all these tools to allow you to make designs and what a lot of people that would come and watch this video, they're gonna be like, oh my God, they literally do everything for us. The only issue, like I said, with this is they're, they're creating this, uh, th this environment, this ecosystem where it's basically survival of the fittest, okay? The most creative and the most uh, people that have the most like creative skills are the ones that are gonna make it. Everyone that comes into this marketplace, right, they're not gonna make money. You may think 16 million visitors are a lot, but if you really do the math of it, okay, so 16 million visitors come to this website a month. About like 2% on average convert. So let's actually do the math. I guess that's about like 300,000 t-shirts or masks or something sold every single month. That, that seems like a considerable a lot, right? Like, wow, 300,000, that's like a lot of t-shirts. But then you gotta take into account all the people that could potentially do this, right? There could potentially be 100,000 people that say, oh, I want to go and sell on this platform. 100,000 people that you're all competing. Let's just assume that everyone makes the same amount of sales, right? That means each person could really only get like three sales each. Can you live off of three sales? A t-shirt is like 20 bucks. Profit margin is maybe five or 10 bucks. That's only maybe like on the side an extra, you know, 30 bucks a month. So you could see that even though that is one of the cases, that's probably not the case. You will literally have maybe 3% of all the 100,000 sellers that will probably do most of the majority of sales. It's the exact same way like when I sold on eBay, only like 3% of my products did the most volume, right? There's only 3% of things that will bring in 97% of all of the results. Same way how 3% of the world population own 97% of the wealth. And the thing is, the thing that separates the 3% from the 97% are the 3% realize that this isn't some thing that, oh, this is fun and entertaining. Wow, look at all the spare time that I'm doing playing with these creative things. No, they always think way differently than the masses, right? And just like that, they're, they're creating this marketplace where it's literally survival of the fittest. And if you don't have that mentality when coming into this business, you're not gonna make $3,000 on autopilot because you're gonna constantly struggle let's say you want to create some t-shirt that is all about animals. You can just click on the animals category right here and you will be able to access thousands of different absolutely free icons which you can use. Let's say for example you want to target cat lovers. You can type in cat right here. You can search for those cats. You can find something that, that's interesting. So maybe this one. Just click on it and it will be immediately imported to your design. You can see the preview. This is how it's going to look like. This is how it's going to look like on the actual t-shirt and that requires <laughs> just a one click of a button now of that course it requires just the one click of the button uh so yeah just like i said uh and since anybody can do this everyone can make this t-shirt you, you don't really have like that competitive advantage you don't have like that unique selling proposition now i'm not like knocking this way right i'm not knocking this way you could actually build a stable legit business 
uh, using this, but but it's not gonna be in the way that, that was just provided. You know, this actually really helps if you focus on building an audience. Notice how like a lot of YouTubers sell merch. They're like, oh wow, buy my t-shirts, buy my t-shirts. The thing about that is a lot of these people that sell t-shirts that have these like YouTube audiences or whatnot, is that they're not actually creating the inventory themselves. They're using sites like this or a version of this to go ahead and sell it, right? And that way a company like Zazzle does everything else and then all the influencer does is just upload their designs. Now that's the more realistic way to earn $3,000 on autopilot for free. But the thing that is hard is building an audience, building something like that up. You can't just go in and be like, make millions overnight just doing this on someone else's platform because we already did the math. It's not actually going to work, right? And that's something that you just have to realize when you are getting started with making money online. Not all the things that you see are actually as easy as it may be. And a lot of it is not telling you the expectations that you need to have when getting started, guys. So hopefully this helps. Let me know your thoughts below. Make sure you join the free workshop below and I'll see you guys on the next video.